got a date! Well done! Someone's giving you a bit of attention, are they? Wanna take you out, do they? Well, these are my top 10 tips for that first date. Before you go out, have a wash. And I ain't just talking about the boys either. No one wants to sit across a table or next to someone in a cinema that stinks of BO. This one's for the boys. Or the butch person in the relationship. Open the door. She might like to think she's a bit of a feminist, but manners never killed you. Open the door for her. It's polite. Girls. He doesn't want to hear about your ex-boyfriend, your ex-boyfriend's car, your ex-boyfriend's big knob, your ex-boyfriend's fantastic job, your ex-boyfriend's big house, the fact that your ex-boyfriend had loads of money, your ex-boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, ex-boyfriend. Shut up about him. What do you mean you don't want to be in a relationship right now? Why have you gone out then? Both of you. Turn off your flipping phones, just for once. Have a conversation face to face. You don't need to keep staring at Facebook and you don't need to be texting your mates about what you're doing right now and what you might be doing later. Talk to one another, that's what you've come out to do. Don't gawp at anyone else on the date. It's not gonna help if a fit bird or bloke walks past you and you watch him or her as they go by. That's not a good impression. Look at her and not at her tits. Yes, she may well have a very low cut top on. She might have a fantastic rack going on there, but she also has a face. Get a quick look when you first meet her. That's always good so you know what you might enjoy at a later date. But don't spend the entire evening looking at her like that. Her face is up there, not down there. She's not a piece of meat. Now girls, we're not all as fashionable as we'd like to be. And clothes don't all fit us as well as they could. So when he turns up and he's clearly done his best, and he's still the bloke that you let take you out on a date, don't turn round at the end of the night and think, do you know what, I, I, I just don't like his shoes. Because that makes you shallow. His shoes have got nothing to do with it. The poor sod's giving it a go. He's taken you out. He's walked you round. He's had a conversation with you. And if all you can find fault with him is his shoes and you ain't going to see him again for that reason, then piss off. It's the major get out clause of the date. If you don't like what's happening and you're not really interested with what you're looking at, look at your watch. If you do like what you're looking at and you do like what's happening, don't look at your watch because you give completely the wrong signal. Be out, stay out, enjoy yourself. Let's say the night's gone very well very very well and you're both getting kind of close there's a couple of things that you need to remember boys don't ask her to do what you saw that woman do in that porn movie the other night it ain't gonna happen and if you do ask it's going to bring a rather abrupt ending to your evening quicker than you know girls when he does take his clothes off and you see his little thing don't bite your bottom lip and give him a chance. If I'm absolutely honest with you, the poor thing stood looking at you or lying down next to you is completely terrified and actually really has very little idea of how he's going to please and pleasure you over the next 22 seconds. So give him a chance and tell him what you might like and how you might like it and then you should have a good evening. And finally, if anyone does follow my top tips for their hot first date and it ends in a wedding, send me an invite, will you? Every newspaper I've looked at in the last 48 hours, it's big, fantastic, amazing news. Car